Hi, and welcome to another episode of High Finance. While over half of the country watched the ball drop, Washington marijuana enthusiasts brought in the new year on a high note. With the state ending their first full year of legalizing recreational marijuana, shops got in the spirits by staying open and offering holiday deals. Seattle Cannabis Company stayed open for regular hours to help customers prepare for the holidays. Cascade Herb Company switched it up and offered specials throughout the day. As for the businesses, spirits aren't the only thing that's ending on a high note. December 2015 sales have nearly doubled the sales of 2014, racking in $49 million. With sales continuing to rise, it's safe to say that the Washington's recreational market is here to stay. Earlier this week, Washington, D.C. police arrested Kush God's workers, Nicholas Cunningham and Yvonne Niedoff, for misdemeanor distribution of marijuana. Kush God's, an enterprise that exchanges marijuana for donations, has a fleet of marijuana-plastered luxury vehicles that travel through district's busiest neighborhood to trade marijuana-related products for donations. Although voters passed Initiative 71, the retail sale of marijuana is illegal. According to the Washington Post, Metro Police began investigating Kush Gods after receiving complaints of Cunningham's vehicles acting as a marijuana retail hub. Cunningham and Leadoff pleaded not guilty on a misdemeanor distribution of marijuana and are scheduled to return to court on January 28, 2016. Hi There launches The Hopper, a marijuana party bus in Denver, Colorado. The Hopper is a 20-passenger limousine-style bus that picks up Hi There users at pre-selected stops. On the bus, travelers can consume cannabis while traveling to and from their destinations. While riders have to provide their own supply, the trip is free of charge. Colorado banned public marijuana use, which has made it difficult for tourists. The Hopper is a legal alternative. According to Darren Roberts, co-founder of Hi There, the Hopper combines innovative technology and social responsibility to create a utility that cannabis customers in Denver will gravitate to. The Hopper will start running this month. This concludes another episode of High Finance. Today's news was brought to you by Cannabis Trader. Check out StoneGirls.com for the latest updates on cannabis culture.